Now your TV will be mounted onto the wall of your vehicle somewhere with one of those little, you know, doodang brackets that do 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 do, you know. And then the cables from your TV, well where do they go? You've got to have some wall plates behind there, um, you know, for your 12 volt socket or your, your cables, HDMI, AVC, all those complicated names. What I'm going to do, this is the wall I've got here now, I'm going to knock a hole right through it. And I'm going to put the cables through the wall so the ball go behind the TV, straight through the hole. Then they're going to go around to my little JCR plates on the other side, out of the out of the way. Let's do it, eh? That one, that one. Here we go. Chief smoke. Now inside there goes this other little plastic thing which I haven't got here and I'll show you later. Cover it with vinyl, set the little plastic doodang in, wires through the wall, TV onto the wall here. Yep, that's it. We get to see more of it later, eh? So we cut the hole out for that little TV bracket doodang and this is the wall here upside down, not upside down, uh, flip sided. So this is the back, okay? With this vinyl which we're going to coat the wall with, this is Automotive vinyl, and you've got to glue it on, which we use the Star Stuck gear, right? From Premier Glues, right? And I want the vinyl to go around this edge, so it's the this is kind of like the leading edge. So we're going to wrap the vinyl around here on the edge, then we'll flip it over, and then we'll glue the vinyl on. And I talk a lot. I want to get it on this edge, right on the very edge there as well. Now if you want a rounded edge, before you do all this, just get your file and just round one part of the edge. That gives it a pretty nice look. Play looks tacky. Yeah. Pull it all tight. Do a little bit at a time. Get along there, little baby. Right. Like so. Smooth it down. Then flip it over. And around and whatever else. You can sort of see what's happening. You see on that edge there. There's the nice little edge. And then, that's there to that point, right? Then we just glue this and quick draw the glue. You can see that. I'll do it again. Quick draw the glue. Stuck to your fingers. Extra tension around the little edges on the holes and things like that. And your edges, you know. Wah, wah, wah. So we've got all the vinyl stuck on now. That's that little doodang, right? It's called, there's another one. It's a cable ducting thing, so you can slide across like that, so only your cables are coming out. Uh, if you do want to run your, your big leads through, you know, the big three spikes on the end, then this little bit here whoop, comes out. And then you just have the leads going through, and then you put that little bit back in, like that. Anyway, oh, like that. I think you get the idea. This props in, like so. That's it done. TV fits to the wall. I'll show you a bit more of that later. So this is where that wall's going, and um, in any sort of little spaces like this, we're just going to put in a little bit of uh, foam there. This timber part here, that's to mount the TV onto, so because we can't go into the foam. So we've got a couple of pieces here. For mounting the hardware too. Ellie's putting on the glue over here at the moment. So it's just a bit of this uh, poly foamy stuff. 
little bit of liquid nails and she pops that into place. Got the wires through there, we've got plenty of length for the TV and a little bit extra. Up around here is going to be the hole in the wall. The wires are now going through, straight through this inner tubing. Put inside split tubing there to insulate them. And now we're ready to put the wall on. So we bring it on in, and then you realise that you put the vinyl on the wrong side. Well, don't do that, I didn't do that. Uh, nearly got you, eh? Slide it on up. These are the cables here. So we put them through the hole. The gods are angry again. Woo! There we go, all slid into place. We've got our fancy little doodang thing there, it slides over. That goes in there. This holds for a toilet roll. And this one here is for the water inlet for the shower. Okay, so now we just gotta you know, make it stick and it's all good. Another wall bites the dust. Now I've been looking for an excuse just to show you this gizmo here. For no other reason then I just think it's looks like something from Doctor Who. It's pretty spectacular, eh? It's got four HDMI inputs and these are RCA inputs. And basically what I'm doing is these are going from a, uh, a tower computer uh, splitting into two TVs on the inside of the vehicle when it's not when it's um, when it's raining and two TVs on the outside when it is raining. The RCA goes to the internal stereo system in the vehicle. But uh, I kind of need a reason to why I'm showing this. It doesn't look like I'm showing off, so I'm going to show you the back of it. And um, look at all those nice... Okay, I'll get on with it. You see this little bit of timber? So when you're putting in any of these uh, clips or plates or 240 plates, you need to make sure you've got good solid backing timber there. Bigger than the size of the hole, so when you people pull on plugs in and out, it doesn't just pull on out. Isn't that great, eh? Doctor Who! Uh, don't sing. <laughs> Doctor Who. 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 How are you, Tim? It's Neville from Osco Video. How are you, pal? I was just speaking to your father, Ken. He sounds like a terrific bloke. Oh,